to prayer. I am going to be late and um, I'm, I'm still not very strong. Prayer is just an hour, but an hour is long for me. So I hope to be there for at least 20 minutes of prayer. And I am just so excited about this opportunity that Jesus has provided me to once again be in the house of the Lord, praising and worshiping and um Bring in thy kingdom come on earth, Jesus, as it is in heaven. So, if you want to know how I got this look, just stay tuned. What do you think? <laughs> I need to cut this off. This is a brand new hat. I did a huge haul from Sears. You know, they clearance things out this time of the year. So, guys, I am doing cruise season looks. Yes, because it is almost the month of November in Southern California and it's about somewhere between 80 and 90 degrees today um, so it's a really beautiful day I got my new hat on and um, I got my new jacket on this is a jacket that they put out for summer and it is a beautiful uh, Azorian blue or a royal blue kind of color lovely and I love mixing blues and yellows so I was really excited about that and um, I just got this dress with palms in it you guys this dress was made for your cruise it is on sale at Sears now and um, I'll show you the bottom of it and I've got my summer sandals these are year-long for me these Birkenstock kind up until they wear out you know I'm of the opinion that if you have a good pair of shoes you keep wearing them yes so I guess this is my winter white this is great for traveling great for doing tours uh, great for educating yourself around the world maybe it's time to do some missionary work maybe you're over in the Middle East helping the Kurds out this is feet on the ground of the saints doing God's work kind of look and um, hey it's cruise season all these places are nice and warm that um, we're visiting nobody's taking an iceberg trip you know not this time of year <laughs> okay so here we are get right church and let's go home get right church and let's go home I'm going home on morning train I'm going home on the morning train. Hey, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Ghost. 
feeling like this. Hallelujah. I have been restored. In the name of Jesus. Glory. Glory. Whew. Emmanuel. God is with us. My tear stained face. For several months now, I have not been able to go to my church's uh, 11 o'clock prayer service. And I am a faithful woman of prayer. My body shut down. My illumination systems ceased to work for several months. And if you cannot eliminate, you cannot live. I by the grace of God, was able to go a period of two or three months. Time escapes me. I know it was two or three months because I was able to go to my um, three-monthly prayer service. And at that time, I hadn't been able to leave the house in over a month. I'm talking excruciating pain. A person who walks miles walking is my only source of transportation and um i couldn't walk i couldn't function as a human being in the world i couldn't eat uh food if you saw when my garden was destroyed i had been using herbs out of my garden and plants out of my garden to reduce the demonic sickness that is fighting for my life and within a period of um, a couple of weeks of not having access to those food sources, the devil tried to take me off this earth. But by the grace of God, after many months, I am able to, I was able today to walk a mile to my prayer service. I was not able to walk home, one of the other members of the prayer um, did um, give me a ride home but when I got there the saints surrounded me in prayer they told me that the whole time that I was away from the prayer they had kept my name before God they were praying for my healing for the manifestation of my healing for me to defeat this enemy And that's why there's black all around my eyes. This is my mascara. My lore mascara. If you think you are going to cry, do not put mascara on your bottom lashes. I'm not a crier. I didn't expect it. But I'm grateful for the love of the saints. And I felt God as they enveloped me. They enveloped me with their warm, loving arms, and I felt God. A tongues came out of me. I speak in tongues. I mean, when you're a death door, the voice of, and you're a saint, the voice of God comes out of you just as much as your own voice because you're closer to your spirit self and your corporal self, your corpse self, is diminishing. And that's my testimony. I'm still in the fight. I'm dealing with a very, very aggressive enemy. It does not take it long to take over, and it goes for the kill. But I'm a child of God. My hand, my life, is in the hand of Jesus. And I'm grateful for that. It might be hard for you to understand, but I am grateful. I thank God for the life he's given me. I thank him for walking with me during these perilous times. I thank him for the out-of-body experiences I've had with the Holy Spirit of God. I appreciate him so much. Jesus loves you. I love you with all the Jesus in me. Be blessed. Beautiful.